Hi, in this tutorial, uh, I would teach you a couple of things that would be important for you uh, before we go into the next level. So, uh, let's delete this box. Uh, let's say, you know, we draw something. Um, uh, press press shift key and press A. Menu comes, choose circle. Um, now let's say you want to make this circle a cylinder, a hollow cylinder. What you do is press the tab key. Um, see all the vertexes are orange colored. So all of them are selected. So what we do is press E key and press K. So there is a there is another circle which has already come over here and it is op overlapping the previous original one. So what we do is we basically to create the cylinder we would uh, move this the second ring which has come uh, by holding the uh, Z axis arrow and uh, moving it up. So you see this second ring actually is connected to the first ring that is what we call as extrude. Now you can after bringing it up if you want to increase the radius of this um, circle so that you know the cylinder is not uniform across its length in terms of cross-sectional area what you can do is you can press S and you can change the radius Okay. now let's say you want to create a cap on top of this so what you do is and the cap is separate so what you do is basically um, uh, duplicate this um, circle now duplicating is different from ex extruding so what we do is press D press shift D and press escape now use the Z axis arrow and move the circle up. Now you see this circle is not connected to this um, you know circle the way it, uh, the way the previous circle was. So there's no lofting between these two circles. Okay, important thing to note is that you know if you press the tab key and go into the object mode, you'll find that both these objects, the ring and the hollow cylinder a part of same object so we want to separate them out so what we do is the ring is right now selected in the edit mode we press the P key and press enter so now these two are different objects you can select them separately you see you right click on the first one I mean the ring it gets selected you right click on the hollow cylinder it's get, it gets selected now what we do is we make this ring a cap so right click select it all of the vertexes are selected press E key press escape now there is a second ring already which is lofted to the first ring so we press S and we start reducing so now you see the as soon as the second ring starts moving here or there or gets scaled it shows the lofting between itself and the original ring now we can reduce it to a point where it touches literally at a, at a zero point but then uh, we don't know whether it has touched or not so what we can do is we can press zero so it will automatically touch the zero point zero and we press enter all the points are still existing there and we, do, we don't want that you know those points to be existing there so what we do is we, we merge them to merge them there what we have to do is hold the alt key press M and now you have a menu in which it shows that you know merge the points at, at, at what place you know at center at cursor or collapse we say center so now there is only one point and, all, and that one point is connected to all these vertexes now what we do is so if you press the tab key it's a simple um, uh, hollow cylinder with a cap for it uh, this doesn't seem to be a very good stuff because a cylinder can never be you know as thin as a paper and so wouldn't be a cap so what we do is make the cap little bit thick 
so what we do is press the tab key press a uh, again press a all of it all the vertexes are selected press e move it little down click left mouse button again press e move it little down move the mouse little bit down press left button okay now we okay actually there was no need for the second one anyway so this is a thick cover same way for this cylinder what we can do is press uh, tab press a select all press e press K, press S and now you see there is a problem the cylinder is enlarging you know not uh, along the XY plane but in three dimension and probably you wouldn't want that you simply want the cylinder stop to be flat at this place but it's at an angle because it's enlarging in, in on across along three axes three axes so what we do is um, we press S and hold shift key and then press the Z key. Now what happens is that there is a lock constraint. The object would expand only along the X and Y plane. So we need this much of thickness and we press the left mouse button and here we go. So it's a thick cylinder and thick um, uh, cover now you would say that you know this cylinder um, is looking little jagged you know it's little like a little bit of rough you know, seems more like you know it is not a smooth cylinder same same in case of this cap so what you can do is go in the modifier panel add modifier click subdivision surface increase this same way select this modifier panel subdivision surface Increase. Now, this way you have a smooth cap and sm uh, smooth cap and a smooth hollow cylinder. But you would want the cylinder to look like a cylinder at the top and even at the bottom, which it isn't looking right now. The cap is still fine, so the cover is still fine. So what we do is um, we press the tab key, press A, deselect everything. We create more loops at the top, you know, along uh, these edges. So we hold the all, uh, you hold the control key, press R, and move your mouse a little bit. Now you see the ring. Click left mouse button, and now you can place it somewhere near to the inner edge, and click left mouse button. Press A, press control R again get the ring click left mouse button click like this now this is better now again for the for a flat bottom you have to control R ring take it down this layer okay. same way if you want I, I'm fine by the cover so I will just leave it like that and uh, I can move the cover down on top of this so you see you have a nice um, cylinder with a cap that's it I think uh, in this tutorial you must have learned how to extrude and how to use uh, loop rings which is basically uh, used to sharpen the edges or you know make it smooth give it a better shape hope you enjoyed it in next tutorial I would try to create an iPhone for you guys and uh, you can see how it is done and how the concept learned in this tutorial is used in that thanks bye